All right, so this is a follow-up video on the um, previous repair that I had done for the um, the mirror release coil. So I just wanted to show real quick uh, what it looks like now after the repair has been done. You can hear the mirror sounds good. It's actuating properly. I'll pop this off. I'll have a video here on the side um, of when the camera first came in and what it was doing. So it's just winding like that because there's no film in the back. So every time you turn it on or off or make an adjustment, it's going to uh, wind that back like that. But yeah, um, <clears throat> all the autofocus and everything works. You can see here. Uh, again, mirror is working well. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, there are other repairs that I've done on these cameras. Um, the coil does tend to be the most common one, just because uh, again, it's it's a it's a component that gets hot over time, especially when you uh, are rapid fire shooting and you burn through a roll real quick. That coil can get pretty warm, and it, it doesn't affect it at once. But a, you know, a twenty-year-old camera, especially one that's moving big pieces like a medium format camera is, um, it's going to wear out eventually. So I, uh, I don't have any links or anywhere to buy the replacement coil. This is something that you would either have to um, have the part. I have parts, uh, but I've got a stock that I keep um, for repairs. Uh, but again, I, I mentioned previously, it might be possible to find that part in the Contacts NX or the Contacts N1. Um, I've never, I've never checked on those cameras. I don't work on them too often because they don't really come to me a lot. But yeah, just wanted to make a follow-up video and just sort of show um, the camera working. Uh, but that's it for this one. Have a good one.